Climate change will affect all of us living in the UK. And as with other social issues, vulnerable people will be least able to cope. The Bering Foundation asked three organisations, Global Action Plan, Green Alliance and the NCVO to engage with four UK charities that work with vulnerable people to explore how climate change will impact their beneficiaries, the delivery of their services and how they can adapt to this threat. Climate change is happening, it's, it's, it's going to affect the way the world looks, it's going to affect the UK, it's going to affect vulnerable people and therefore it's going to affect the work of charities. And if those people are being affected by the climate, whether that's through droughts, through heat waves, through floods, uh, or through, through other effects of climate change, uh, then the charities need to be aware of that, they need to start planning for that, and they need to start responding to it. Climate change will have a profound impact on the most vulnerable parts of our society, and charities are set up to help vulnerable people. So we wanted them to really consider if climate change happens, what impact will that have on the work that they do and to think about it more strategically. The reason we decided to get involved with the project about climate change initially was just because it was really useful to start to think about the impact of climate change on our beneficiaries. Uh, not just our own role in reducing carbon and carbon emissions, but how will climate change affect the most vulnerable people in crisis and how should we mitigate the effects of climate change for them. We decided to get involved in the project because it was already a priority for the board and for the organisation and we'd begun to talk about sustainability in relation to delivering our services. And this was an opportunity to get to work with experts in the field to learn more and more in depth about A, issues and B, the potential impact and C, the steps we could take to address those issues. What we did with participants to help them to um, explore a bit more about how climate change was relevant to them is um, we got them to think quite broadly about everyday factors that affect the work that they do. And then what we got them to think about was using a card exercise which provided lots of different examples of potential climate impacts. We got them to think about how those impacts might interact with the everyday factors that they'd already identified. So the purpose of that then is to get a greater idea of how, how climate change might then interact with their charitable objectives when they're thinking about their strategic planning. I think the most useful aspect of um, exploring climate change was bringing it from the global perspective into the, the grassroots view. The environment affects everybody regardless of the aspect of health and social care that we're in. The common goal helps us work better together in all aspects of our, our business. As a result of being involved in the project, the changes that Friends of the Elderly are now making um, are long term and short term. So short term we have prioritised the energy review we're doing and have brought in a consultant to help us work on benchmarking energy usage. But longer term we're actually looking at building um, the audit uh, priorities into our strategic planning. So we are bringing it to the trustee level, communicating it with staff, looking at contingency planning, all those things that are strategic to the business and now having that environmental audit incorporated into them. This project has been a really useful experience for Friends of the Elderly. We've been enthused, we've been motivated and we've actually learnt a huge amount in terms of um, environmental impact on our future business and it will make a difference. The more we've thought about the impact of what British Red Cross wants to do going forward and the impact of climate change on some groups that are already very vulnerable, we've realised that there's much more we could and should be doing to help those people. I would really urge any charity that works with vulnerable groups to just take some time out to think about how climate change affects them. This isn't all about controlling their own carbon emissions, it's about the future of people they care about. To explore how your organisation can tackle and prepare for climate change, please visit the Global Action Plan, Green Alliance and NCVO websites.